Spot technology has been automating processes for over 40 years now. We've taken that substantial history and commenced automating meat processing systems. And in partnership with JBS and Meat and Livestock Australia, we've developed the world's first lamb, x-ray primal and metal system. What we're seeing so far are benefits in reduced uh, labour input in processing plants and also in improvements in yield. And I think the improvements in yield are the really exciting part of this technology because of the improved accuracy in cutting primals and extracting value out of the carcass. What we're seeing from the processors that are investing in this technology is that they're able to pass back some of those benefits to producers in terms of improved pricing. I believe MLA needs to be the strategic driver in, in this technology along with our processing partners, our technology providers and, and also MLA being a producer funded organisation. Our main aim is to provide benefit back to our producers. They're the guys that pay our levies and they're the guys we want to reward. And I believe with the technology that we're developing to date in dual energy x-ray, where we now can measure the composition of the animal, being the meat, fat, bone in the animal. Producers now will be able to be paid for what they provide to the processing organisations. At the end of the day, this equipment really places high value parts of the animal into those high value cuts. And that's the whole purpose of that X-ray primal machine. At JBS Border Town, we've also got our middle machine. And that takes the middle section from the primal machine and then further cuts that into really high value cuts. So it generates a rack and a loin, which then enables you to remove a chine bone and do French racks. Independent economic analysis by Greenleaf Enterprises has identified that safety is one of the many benefits that this equipment provides. Although, touch wood, there are not very many bandsaw injuries in the industry. When a bandsaw injury does occur, it is quite severe. People lose fingers or worse parts of their hand. By putting in this system, it eliminates that from ever being able to happen again in the future. When you're trying to do transformation, you've got to find the players who will go out on a limb and actually do something different because it's very easy to do what we've always done and I think in our industry there's a lot of um, history, you know, our values are tied up with, with livestock and how livestock have always been raised and slaughtered. I think in terms of JBS, they're a worldwide player and they've been able to look at this and say, hang on, we've got to take some cost out of this system because we're a we're a high cost country and so they've really been able to also put their skin in the game and co-invest through the donor company with the taxpayers in Australia with, with matching funding to get great outcomes. For I think the first one, it was a good thing to have R&D support through MLA. It obviously reduced some of the risks. Of course, the real risk factor was that it didn't achieve what we thought it was going to achieve and the payback blew out beyond our expectations and it wasn't reliable and all those sorts of things. It's almost two years to the date now when we started the first part of the install, which gives us a good foot to go forward in the next model. Certainly, we'll be looking to develop other areas of carcass processing on land. We're continuing to work with Meat and Livestock Australia and JBS and ALC to finish off our current developments in the area of automated fork quarter processing and automated hind quarter processing and I believe it's only 12 to 24 months before I can come back to this plant or I can go to ALC Sunshine and I can see those last remaining pieces of the puzzle installed in a boning room and running and that's when we'll truly see a room as efficient as it possibly can be. Next stage of the investment from MLA and development from our key partners and following on from the commercialisation and adoption of this land boning technology, we'll be taking the key learnings and rolling it into beef boning. The challenges in beef boning are going to be more complex but the rewards will definitely be greater through cut accuracy and yield benefits.